What's up guys? It is uh, the 26th of May. I finally got my YRD bike in. Uh, as promised, I'm going to do a unboxing video of this bad boy right here. Uh, I have not opened it up yet. So we're all gonna figure this out together. I know I've seen a couple other videos. This isn't gonna be much on specs. This is more about just how it's put together. But then we'll do a review uh, later. Once it's charged up, um, let's see how that goes. Uh, but I think it's kind of funny that this is the box they cut it off with. Came with UPS. Um, the guy's like, "I got your TV." I said, "Okay, that's my TV. That's a uh, e-bike." He's like, "Why in the world would they put a TV in the front?" I'm thinking maybe just to uh, disguise it. I don't know, but it's a uh, Kind of funny. So let's get this thing open. And this box, just so you guys know, this sucker is heavy. And it is uh, very well packed. This cardboard, like, it is hard to uh, break uh, or even bend. It's uh, um, very puncture resistant. I'm going to use the end of this to show you just a like barely even dent, so it's gonna take a, a lot to damage these bikes. So I appreciate Wired for uh, you know spending extra money on these type boxes. Even has that uh, slick feel to it, that wax kind of. So maybe it's uh, water resistant. Even it looks like it's double boxed. Uh, this thing's really in there. It is double boxed all the way. Let's see. I gotta tell you how. Bad and away this bike. I've been uh oh my god, I love this color blue. Blue is my favorite color, and this is just like, the perfect blue. Uh what I was saying, I've been riding my wife's uh Hemingway uh cruiser, I think it's called. Uh, fun bike, but uh nothing compared to what this is supposed to be like. Um so I said we'll uh test it all out together. Hope it doesn't take too much assembly. And, uh, yeah, so it's the stuff we need to cut, some handy dandy snips. Go one snip. Right, once they're on the fenders. And usually with those fenders, um, just have a little bit of experience, they, uh, Always have to be tweaked. They're always uh, seem to be bent. Either I, I, I can't tell if that was bent or not, but they always seem to be to be. Uh... All right. All right. Pull this whole thing out, baby. Might be the easiest. Oh my gosh, this blue. Anything on seeing the jet. I see these Choi Yang. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I didn't think these were the tires that were coming with these, but uh, they uh, do have really good tread on them. Um, I don't know anything about this brand. Uh, but you guys can comment on the in the comments if you know about this brand. C H A O Yang. 
shoulder yang. Um, and here's the rotor. Um, good looking rotor. So set that off to the side. All right. Get this off next. Bunch is if uh, they really spent the time packing this thing off, I can tell you. Um, do they do not want to have no issues? Um, and it shows. I know some of you probably don't care about packing, but uh, after getting so much stuff damaged anymore these days, it's uh, a relief seeing someone actually spend the money on good packaging. See that, but they uh, the cardboard and put on the inside. They said they just really went overboard. So far, still no issues with anything. The makes the scratches. I mean, this blue once again is insane. I don't, uh, I don't think the camera's gonna pick that up very well, but uh. We'll do a little bit close up later. Um, this thing is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Piece of a battery pack. All right. This is the first thing we need to do. Probably get tire on, handlebars maybe. Yeah, maybe handlebars on. But we just want to tighten them down. Let's do that. Let's see if it's a five, maybe a six. Yep, six it is. Let's see the bar set up. And, uh, yeah. bars on probably put some cardboard on it spin it upside down that might be our best bet so far nothing crazy with this to put it together just normal bike stuff out just about 
95% probably most bikes come. It's not intimidating, not hard at all. Anybody can do what I'm doing so far. It's pretty much the same stuff for all of them. All right, let's see if there's a certain twist you know, put these at. I don't know. Well, looks like more. Put those in go. YouTube. Um, man, I wish I could remember his name. Great videos. Something cycle. I'm um, sorry that I, uh, I'm not remembering him, but uh, I have watched a lot of his videos. And uh, the grips that he got on the replacement bike, um, he had, I think it was like the owner's prototype, it was black. Um, and then uh, he ended up getting swapped out with this blue bike, this very same bike, but his grips were a little bit different than just through that leather grip. Um, I haven't had this exact set. I don't love the leather grips. They kind of burn on my hands. I, I prefer the rubber. Um, but we'll see before I make any comment like that. Um, Tektro brakes, it looks like. Uh, so let's get this thing mounted on here and uh, keep on going. Citizen Cycle. <laughs> that was gonna drive me crazy. That's the YouTube uh, video that I was watching. Um, the guy is great. I would say he's like one of the kind of like the pioneers. I would say uh, for e-bikes. Um, you know, I've probably watched. I feel like a hundred videos. I don't know how many he really has, but uh, it, he's uh, definitely getting up there in numbers. On videos. I so said, we're not going to lock lock this down. We're just going to get it snug because we want to turn it upside down. Get the tire on. That way we get the front end at the right height. And then we'll set our handlebars. Um, so we'll back for Once again, nothing different than you do on any other bike. Uh, I'm on concrete here, so I don't bust nothing up by turning it upside down, really. If I can get it on without turning it upside down, we'll try that first. It doesn't work. I guess I'll just look stupid on video and we'll spin it upside down anyway. Man, I can't. Like I said, this thing is sharp. Alright. Hold your hand tight. And looks like they preset the forks to the handlebars so that they're lined up, which is nice. Um, yeah, let's see if we can, uh, like I said, slide that uh, tire in and, uh, we might have to turn up the hammer at all. It was actually a plug, not, I guess it was a plug. Oh man. Little plug, so be careful with that. If you can't get that out that way, I guess you'll be able to push the little axle through there and get it out, but it might be difficult, so just be aware. Don't pull that off high, man. You can really 
create some extra time that's not needed. Alright, let's see what we got here. This too might be easier to turn this thing upside down. Eh. You know what? Through and might be all right. Maybe not. Let's see here. What would be a good way to do this? Okay. <laughs> it was working out for me. Anyway, I should have thought that here. Not just all packing. This one came with it. So one of those quick nuts. Then doesn't say what side. Um, I guess that's probably in the box. I don't know if it was on yet. All right, in the box we got. Pedals. We got. Think of that. That's what they. It's all uh, busted and dried out and stuff. What is this? Oh, you know what this is? I think this is touch-up paint for the bike. It is. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's all busted everywhere. I'm like, whew. Yeah, that's not good. We're gonna set that off to the side. Well, if I contact them, we'll send another one. Unless we got a battery charger. All right. There we go, some tools. Looks like two hour wrenches. Zip ties, owner's manual, and a wrench. That's what we got there. Just want to see if there's anything out of normal, show you guys. And I'll have to do a video on unlocking it. I'm not too sure. 100%. I watched a couple videos on how to do it. It's not a whole lot out there, so um, looks like there's an advanced user display on this user manual, so. Looks like that'd be kind of the section you're looking at anyways for setting stuff. Unlocking the bike, blah, 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 blah. And it doesn't look like really anything about assembling the bike. You know, I see nothing about assembling the bike, but uh, we'll get this done. Oh, should be anything hard. Um, just for giggles. Looks like they put a spacer on there just for shipping. Um, and look at my wife's Hemingway. I just looked at that. This little flip nut, the tension nut here, um, would be on uh, the opposite side of the rotor. So I don't know if that's the same here. We'll see. It looks like it would be. Um, we'll check it out. I am not a professional this office, as you guys can tell. Probably didn't have to say that, but uh, well, uh, looks like 12. 
Yeah, um, 12, not, like I said, it looks like a little spacer. Um, that they use the, for shipping. Would you like that? Side two, the outside off. From here to Rich, looks like a 12 also. A little handy dandy board. You ain't got yourself a board, get yourself a board. Nothing is better than that board. <laughs> looks a little silly or overboard. So you have one, don't like it. Spacers out. All right. It also looks like they put a spacer, just so you guys know, uh, in between uh, the caliper to stop it from closing, probably during shipping. Uh, fantastic. That way we don't have to open it up. <laughs> We get this on without uh, having to take it off. Um, man, I mean, there's still just like no scratches or anything on this. It's uh, I'll have to check it out a little bit more. Um, but uh, we'll keep on. It might not matter. We'll put it on this side though. Now, I'm just going to show you guys so you guys don't mess it up on here. Um, it's be hard to mess up, but just don't forget. Um, the spring has two different size ends. As you see, kind of a little tornado. The skinny side looks like it points in towards the wheels. Fat part goes against the nuts. Um, so, pull that off. You do have to pull off the side, I'll take it on. Eh, let's just turn upside down. Or, actually, why don't you just turn upside down the chair? I'm making this probably way harder than I have to. Let's run up and scratch it. Crazy stuff. I don't have stuff. Let's go right there. See if we can't get this thing on there. There we go. That's actually pretty damn good. Good by accident. All right. A little space around looks like. Yep. Can you actually just put these on ahead of time? You can, duh. It's a get too excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are uh, decided through actually. I don't know what else they It's a quick takeoff. Um, so it's designed to not have to take off any nuts that I just took off. So I'm sorry. That's what it's supposed to look
And uh, we can adjust that brake later. Got a little drag on it. Beautiful. Well, let's keep sniffing. Sorry if this is wrong. The video is dragging out, guys. I'm learning with you. I want to get this done together. There is a lot of zip pack. We have to do this trail this time. Chain that is. Oh no. Got two different colors to it. Kind of like a uh, off gold and a uh, stainless steel shine to it uh, almost. Oh man. This ends up like I don't do the pedals. Um, very, very mild, uh, pegging for grip. Um, I ride through our parks a lot down here where we live. I wear Crocs everywhere, make fun of me or not. Uh, so the long ones, like on my wife's Hemingway, I, I do like her pedals better. They're very aggressive, very large lugs. They just seem a little bit better. I could be wrong, but they, they seem better. Um, but they do tear the heck out of like soft uh, sole shoes. If you're standing up and going through woods and bouncing around everywhere. Um, but these look nice. Um, yeah, the other ones are a little bit, a little bit beefier maybe. But uh, there should be a course of left and a right. Well, you should have that one way anyway, so. All right, you want to need a wrench to tighten this down? Probably. Yep. 15. I don't want to down. Then we get to uh, flip this bad boy over. And this side is uh, reverse grip. That would be if uh, you were sitting on the bike, it'd be your left side's reverse grip on the pedal. It's only going one way, so you'll figure it out. But. If you want to waste your time looking, that's what it is. Might not be a bad idea to lock tight those. Um, I am not. We'll see how it goes. And I might actually, if anything, yeah, you can see that they won't slide it like they're just going a little bit more, but they're, uh, these aren't great at all. Um, I think they're aluminum. They're definitely a little bit light. They don't feel plastic either, so it's not great. 
but uh, not a big deal. If uh, I'd rather you know, put these large motors and badass batteries and everything else, and it'd be like this and have a crappy pedal. Because if I want to trade something out, you know, I'd rather spend money on a on a nice pedal, one that I like. So, um, and actually, when I think about it, I like blue with anodized red. Um, I'm gonna look at some red pet pedals. I think that'll look pretty sharp. We'll get into try before I just start talking crap about something I haven't tried yet. I don't think that'd be fair to uh, Wired, especially when I can tell how much uh, love they put into this bike. I'm sorry, uh, I'm talking to my back. You listen to my back, my microphone. There's your wear. It's decided it's not working, and I have no idea why. So. Alright, once again, that was 15. Alright, so we can to flip this thing over. Um, I don't know what this is for. It's a big thinner or something. I don't see. Oh, duh. What an idiot. Sorry, guys. Fender. I was like, literally a fender or something. <laughs> and here's the fender the whole time. Um, this will be probably much easier to put on what's there. I can already tell you, I'm going to put this thing on. It's probably not going to be straight, but uh, we'll check it out. Okay, it takes time until you get it. It's off. Well, let's see if we can't get this off without uh, damaging anything. Most ridiculous setup ever, I'm sorry. This thing is a monster, and it is beautiful. <laughs> I'm pretty excited right now. I'm even more excited that uh, we get it, and there's—I mean, there's there's no damage in this thing. I don't see anything. If I do, I'm just missing. You know, if it doesn't, I'm just missing right now. But uh, I would say if it was damage, there was a lack of wired's behalf because uh they really put some time into this all right so easy enough you can already tell how this goes wire goes back down towards the, the forks this goes in probably in between the light excuse me like that so maybe backwards like that um let's see how it falls but something like that yep now it's too many though just go to the front or the back and now Headlight looks nice. Hmm, let's see. What would be the best? I want to say it would go to the front. I don't know here. Looks like they did something a little weird. Let me see if I can't figure this out. I won't reach that way, so it can't be that way. Can it? Hmm. Well, folks, a little stumped on that one. There's something like that. Size. This is the 
smaller of the two Allen wrenches, but the bigger side of the two Allen wrenches. I hope we didn't miss the direction somewhere. I want to go to the owner's manual. It's odd that it's not in the owner's manual. Uh, let's see here. Probably a 10. Don't break that down yet. Just figure it out. figure this out together now. Just the angle of the dangle here just uh, doesn't look right to be on there. There's this odd shape and to put it there just doesn't seem right to me but maybe it is. I'm not gonna put too much thought behind this. Like I said it doesn't go that way. You know it looks like that's the way it would go. Let's go in between it. Something like that. Oh man. Well, I did find one problem, but it's just one small problem. I wanted to ignore that. When I've been pulling the wire through um, the frame, I'm sure it's got little burrs on it, maybe. It, uh, it's torn through the sheathing. It did, yeah, it's torn through the sheathing, unfortunately. It's all right, I think that's about the best we're gonna do. I'm gonna search around some other videos to see if uh, I got that on it right or not. And I'll let you guys know on the next video, but I'm not gonna super crank it down. But... Something like that, I'll crank it down, get it lined up here. Once again, that was a 10. 
We'll put it deep on there to make it easier to reach it. And a long extension. Let it out on it. I don't know if you guys have uh, ever tried these Milwaukee socket sets. These square style, these are phenomenal. I mean, it looks like I know the, the lights face the wrong way. I'll, I'll change that. But I mean, it looks like that's supposed to go like that. Yes. Right. And then that goes front of that. Yes. And even if that's not right, it looks right. That's what we're doing. All right. They gotta have almost every tool known to man. Pop it open. Let's see what we think. Probably a T25. you to adjust it to whatever the correct height is, right? So it's something that this is something we just spin around and be done. I said, if this wasn't meant to go this way, uh, mechanically speaking, this is the better way for it to go. So maybe they said, maybe they just, uh, Swap it wrong at the back of your eye, I don't know, whatever. But, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. That's gotta be it. If it's not, like I said, that's the way it should go. The wire's not gonna watch this and say, you idiot. That's not even close to our <laughs> Why would you think that? Just kidding. They told me I was wrong. I would have to say they were wrong. And we'll do this way. Shape wire worries me a little bit, but uh, let's let it go. That's really the only thing I can complain about, which you know looks like an honest mistake. But I would tell you, you know, if you feel this slightly sharp edge, a rubber grommet would be would do wonders for that. Um, but not necessary, but. Definitely would avoid something like that.
another way you can really crank it down. And that way, I literally crank pretty damn well on that thing. Yeah, that's gotta be right, guys. If it ain't, it is today. All right. It's time to just the hammer box where I want it, and we are almost done. It looks like. Gosh, we got to play the bottom for it. But uh, surprisingly, uh, that might be a little off. Yes, yeah, it's rubbing. It's raining. Tighten that back fender down good. Um, it's the only way to get to that properly. Maybe a piece without taking the tire off. Nailing. Too tight, guys. I'm gonna crack that plastic. And it ain't the worst. Um, these racks are never, I mean, things are never good. Um, all right. So, shit. Keys off for the battery. Thank you. Actually, I'm gonna put it. Alright, let's get the hand bars. No matter where we want them. Things are just from touch, it feels pretty squishy. Huh. All right, well, these things, ooh, way too tall. I feel like I'm myself too much crack. <laughs> Don't know, man. This bike looks so nice. I'm scared to scratch it now at this point. Nice work over in a pattern on these. Yeah, I think they uh, said this was supposed to get shipped out on the 15th, if I'm not mistaken, on this order. And uh, I think today's the 26th. And um, we got it today. It's gonna be more perfect it's Friday. First day of tonight. And uh, go right out of the way from her Hemingway in the morning. It's like a smoker. Needless to get a pair and tire with very little effort. I don't think they're running. I 
hydraulic brakes. Uh, but as some of you know that uh, watch my channel, got a whole lot of you. But if you subscribe, even more of you. Um, this is a uh, night and day different of a seat versus the headway. Um, yeah, this thing just feels great right now. And the real suspension. Um, also, the hydraulic brakes are what I was getting at. The hydraulic brakes versus um, just cable brakes. Uh, oh my god. There's nothing to pull these. And uh, actually, holding the grips now, they feel pretty darn good. Well, so let's get everything tamed up. Get finished this up. Probably gonna drop that seat down even a little bit more because apparently I didn't. I'm much shorter than I thought. I'm five, uh, what I thought was 5'10. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. Um, so if you're a short person, be aware. Huh? Yeah, that's a... This bag's full. But uh, I'm not gonna change that. I'm gonna charge all the way. And uh, see what we gotta do now is tighten the display up. That looks like it's a Phillips head. Uh, Phillips, maybe number one. Uh, yeah, number one would be better than a two. Dummy. This would be a little smoother than what it was. I'm gonna sit on it. See if it's the right viewing spot. I stand a lot, so I'm probably gonna put it up a little bit of an angle. I snugged it up too tight, put it in the center. money. Yeah. That is a tall bike. Oh, I'm so excited to get on the road tomorrow. Probably not going to tighten these down too far just in case I crash. That way it spins on me instead of getting broken off. I can't tell you how many times I've broken off a lever off of uh, my dirt bikes and four wheels as a kid from right on. But uh, if you ain't wrecking, you ain't learning. If you ain't riding. So. Twist grip, it's a big twist. Something I can tell you now where the grips meet. It's uh, right here. There's a screw, a locking screw that uh, stops it from spinning on. The handlebar, the grip spinning on the handlebar, which I appreciate because the Hemingway does not have that. And that sucker spins all the time. Once again, I stand up a lot. So I'm in this angle and like to point straight down, it's just a goofy feel. Um, but I feel that screw on my hand. It feels terrible. Um, and there's no way to flip that, I don't think. It doesn't look like it. I'll investigate that a little further. But that, I mean, you can really, yeah, it really feels pretty. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty terrible. That grip's a deal breaker. <laughs> that grip is a deal breaker. So I need a new grip. Why would they do that? Right there. Yeah, that's feels terrible. The other side's even more. So um if you see that these screws right here that clamp the bar on where it meets right here, you feel right here on your palm going every time you twist. And it's uh, very noticeable. I'm surprised someone didn't catch that. But like I said, these weren't the grips that I saw on um, the other YouTube channel. Uh, it looked like this rubber grip right here. Or if they ran out of them, this is what you get. That's a little disappointing. But once again, handle grips and pedals. And these pedals work just fine, so you don't have to switch just enough. That 
is uh, absolutely a problem and that will not stay on long at all. Like, that's really bad. Man, I wonder if anyone even tried these grips before. Because if you just put your hand on one time and you were building something this nice, uh, you would instantly rip these the hell off this bike. That's a big, mm, yeah, that's terrible. Either way, don't let that deter you. It's a handle that who the hell cares? They put on line the rest of stuff, right? Um, so, you know, a little connector here. Snap in place, maybe. Yep. Find a little groove, put another little groove. Just snap right in. That looks nice. There, that looks nice. I mean, I like this. Oh, this thing's perfect. Perfect. Um, these brakes, they both say mineral oil. That's what they take. And uh, I've never had a bicycle with hydraulic brakes. This is my first bicycle or e bike with uh, electric, uh, I mean, uh, hydraulic brakes. I know probably a lot of you are like, how have you gone this long without this? But uh, I just never had them. I always had the cable ones. And like I said, the wife's hemming away has the cables. They work fine. But you have to pull them much harder than this. I mean, this is nothing. Finger backwards, nothing. Um, that's fantastic. Yeah. I'm liking that. Well, we'll get that tied up down there and uh, we'll power it on for you guys just so y'all can see it. I think it's about it. Oh, so I'll stick off the screen. And, uh, Awesome. I'll get you guys hold on. Let me uh, turn this down. We're done for now. Where's that 10? Put it on. Oh, luckily I got 800 of them. I didn't put it away. I'm losing it, guys. And it might not be a bad idea. Could be totally wrong. But uh, might be a good idea to go around and uh, tighten some of these uh, nuts and bolts. We'll just make sure that they're tight. I'm not kill anybody. I'll probably do that after the first ride. Ooh, buddy, that thing is slick. Boy. All right. Let's go to this. 